Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Father God, take our lives and let them be consecrated for thee. Take our moments and our days, let them be filled with ceaseless praise. Help us to give our time and all that we have to you. The truth is, all that we have comes from your plentiful bounty, our abilities, gifts and possessions. May we be good stewards of those things. Holy Spirit, please fill us so that we can glow and shine for Almighty God, so that we can be on fire for him so that rivers of living water would flow in and through us and quench a thirsty and parched land. Speak to us today. Open our eyes and our ears and our hearts and our minds to your word. Amen. Genesis chapter 30 When Rachel saw that she wasn't having any children for Jacob, she became jealous of her sister. She pleaded with Jacob, Give me children or I'll die. Then Jacob became furious with Rachel. Am I God? he asked. He's the one who has kept you from having children. Then Rachel told him, Take my maid, Bilhar and sleep with her. She will bear children for me, and through her I can have a family too. So Rachel gave her servant, Bilna, to Jacob as a wife, and he slept with her. Bilna became pregnant, and presented him with a son. Rachel named him Dan, for she said, God has vindicated me. He has heard my request, and given me a son. Then Bilhar became pregnant again and gave Jacob a second son. Rachel named him Naphtali, for she said, I have struggled hard with my sister and I am winning. Meanwhile, Leah realised that she wasn't getting pregnant anymore, so she took her servant Zilpah and gave her to Jacob as a wife. Soon Zilpah presented him with a son. Leah named him Gad, for she said, How fortunate am I? Then Zilpah gave Jacob a second son. And Leah named him Asher, for she said, What joy is mine! Now the other women will celebrate with me. One day during the wheat harvest, Reuben found some mandrakes growing in a field and brought them to his mother, Leah. Rachel begged Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But Leah angrily replied, Wasn't it enough that you stole my husband? Now will you steal my son's mandrakes too? Rachel answered, I will let Jacob sleep with you tonight if you give me some of the mandrakes. So, that evening... As Jacob was coming home from the fields, Leah went out to meet him. You must come and sleep with me tonight, she said. I have paid for you with some mandrakes that my son found. So that night he slept with Leah, and God answered Leah's prayers. She became pregnant again and gave birth to a fifth son for Jacob. She named him Issachar. For she said, God has rewarded me for giving my servant to my husband as a wife. Then Leah became pregnant again and gave birth to a sixth son for Jacob. She named him Zebulun, for she said, God has given me a good reward. Now my husband will treat me with respect, for I have given him six sons. Later she gave birth to a daughter and named her Dinah. 
Then God remembered Rachel's plight and answered her prayers by enabling her to have children. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. God has removed my disgrace, she said. And she named him Joseph. For she said, may the Lord add yet another son to my family. Soon after Rachel had given birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Please release me so I can go home to my own country. Let me take my wives and children, for I have earned them by serving you, and let me be on my way. You certainly know how hard I have worked for you. Please listen to me, Laban replied. I have become wealthy, for the Lord has blessed me because of you. Tell me how much I owe you, whatever it is, I'll pay it. Jacob replied, You know how hard I've worked for you, and how your flocks and herds have grown under my care. You had little indeed before I came, but your wealth has increased enormously. The Lord has blessed you through everything I've done. But now, what about me? When can I start providing for my own family? What wages do you want? Laban asked again. Jacob replied, Don't give me anything. Just do this one thing, and I'll continue to tend and watch over your flocks. Let me inspect your flocks today, and remove all the sheep and goats that are speckled or spotted, along with all the black sheep. Give these to me as my wages. In the future, when you check on the animals you have given me as my wages, you will see that I have been honest. If you find in my flock any goats without speckles or spots, or any sheep that are not black, you will know that I have stolen them from you. All right, Laban replied. It will be as you say. But that very day, Laban went out and removed the male goats that were streaked and spotted, all the female goats that were speckled and spotted, or had white patches, and all the black sheep. He placed them in the care of his own sons, who took them a three days journey from where Jacob was. Meanwhile, Jacob stayed and cared for the rest of Laban's flock. Then Jacob took some fresh branches from poplar, almond, and plain trees, and peeled off strips of bark, making white streaks on them. Then he placed these peeled branches in the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink, for that was where they mated. And when they mated in front of the white streaked branches, they gave birth to young that were streaked, speckled and spotted. Jacob separated those lambs from Laban's flock, and at mating time he turned the flock to face Laban's animals that were streaked or black. This is how he built his own flock, instead of increasing Laban's. Whenever the stronger females were ready to mate, Jacob would place the peeled branches in the watering troughs in front of them. Then they would mate in front of the branches. But he didn't do this with the weaker ones, so the weaker lambs belonged to Laban, and their stronger ones were Jacob's. As a result, Jacob became very wealthy with large flocks of sheep and goats, female and male servants, and many camels and donkeys. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for this passage, my Lord. And I thank you that we see again you watching over your promise to Abraham years previously. You said he would have many descendants. And here, with the people that Jacob had sexual intercourse with, came more descendants. And all the names of these people, actually what, what became the names of the 12 tribes of Israel, 
There are still some to be born, as we'll see, such as Benjamin. But I thank you that the fact that they became the 12 tribes of Israel, their names, it shows that you also fulfilled your other promise to Abraham, that they would inherit the land which became Israel. My Lord, you watch over your promises, and it is just wonderful. And I don't really understand how it works with these speckled and striped sheep and goats in terms of stripping the bark off the trees. I guess what it shows is that you, my Lord, were supplying his needs, supplying him with the cattle that he needed, Jacob. And I thank you that it goes back to what I prayed earlier, that all that we have comes from your plentiful bounty. Praise you, my Lord. Amen.